hello friends and welcome back now in the previous video we discussed the rpc what is rpc and in i hope you understand it if not then this video is going to make your all confusions go away so hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than six hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 so uh, this is the very detailed course and in uh, there are some free videos and you can uh, take that watch this video carefully and if you have any problems uh, ask me in the comments so let's start our video now right now we have our player and in the uh, one of the videos when we build our game on two different instances uh, we can move our player left and right but our sprite was not flipping so actually when our player is moving toward right we need to have the same sprite and when we are moving towards the left side we are actually going to flip our sprite towards the left side so and we are also going to sync that across all the instances so let's go back to our player script which is my player and in here i am first going to grab the reference of this sprite renderer component because to flip the sprite we need a reference to this sprite renderer component and by using that we can access the flip property and manipulate and modify the x so in here i am going to say public sprite renderer and let's call it sr which is shortcut for sprite renderer and i am going to go back to our process inputs so in here we are going to check so we know that if we press the right arrow key it means we are going towards the right side and if we press the left arrow key we are going towards left side so let's check here if input dot get key down so if the key code is key code dot uh, right arrow so if we are pressing the right arrow and we are also going to copy the same line and we are going to paste it right here so if it is left arrow so let's go back here and right now you can see that whenever player is facing towards the right the flip on the x is unchecked it means it is false so when it is true the player is going to move towards the left side so on the right we are going to say sr which is our sprite render dot flip x so we have two properties flip x and flip y we are going to use the flip x and flip x is going to be false now copy the same line right here and make it true so when we move toward left we are going to flip our sp sprite so let's now define the rpc so i am going to here uh, write a function called void on direction change so if our player is changing their direction then we are going to execute this function and in here what we are going to do is we are going to tag it uh, so actually we are going to add a header called pun rpc now if we are uh, going towards right we are going to call this rpc so 
now to call the rpc you must have a photon view on that object so this script this my player script is applied on the player game object so on that player we must have a photon view because uh, we need a reference of photon view to actually call the rpc why because you can see that each photon view has a unique id so this photon view has id one so let's go back to our uh, game uh, sorry diagram now this both of these players have a photon view let's say his uh, photon view id is one and his photon view is id is two on the pc2 this is going to have the same photon view id which is one so when he is when this photon view with the id one is going to call the rpc it is going to execute that rpc on all the uh, photon views on all the game objects who has a photon view with the same id so i hope you understand it now if not then don't worry you will uh, get it now where were we so so in here we are going to actually so actually we need two rpcs one for the left and one for the right so let's put a dash here underscore and let's call it left left and copy the same paste it right here and we are going to change it to right so let's uh, so right here we are going to call the right arrow so we are going to call this right rpc so to call the rpc uh, so remember in the previous video we got the reference of our photon view in the pv so we are going to use that now we are going to call it right here so here we are flipping the first uh, the flipping the sprites on our local player so this is uh, done locally and now we are going to aware other players so by using pv dot rpc and this rpc is going to take three parameters now the first one is method name which is going to be this and the second one is going to be the target so we are going to talk about the targets so let's just copy that and the targets are going to be rpc target dot others now you can see that we have a uh, multiple options right here all so all means it is going to execute this rpc on all pair including himself so the one who is calling that rpc is going to execute the same rpc on its local instance and we have all buffered all buffered via server others and others buffered so the others is going to execute only on other players and not on himself so let's go back to diagram again so let's say if this four uh, player is going to execute the rpc and if the rpc target dot all then what he is going to do is going to execute that rpc on its on instance and also on player one on pc two instance but we don't want to send to all because we are already flipping the sprite locally so there is no need to flip it two times so we are only going to send to others so dot others so what this others is going to do this is going to only execute the rpc on that player so if we have pc3 and then pc3 and pc4 on all the other instances except himself so not going to uh, execute the rpc on himself because we are already flipping the uh, sprite right here so there is no need and the third argument is parameters so let's 
port null well looking at the code i found a bug in my code so actually what you need to do is right here we are actually uh, when finding the main camera we are setting it to player camera so instead we are going to set it to scene camera so this is a very big mistake so just fix that and hopefully everything should work fine now let's go back to our script so now where were we so right here now just remove the last arguments because it is optional so we don't need that so here we are calling the uh, our rpc so this is how you call an rpc now we are going to copy that and paste the same on here so instead of right we are going to call this left rpc so copy the name and paste it right here and it is also going to be sent to only others now let's see what we are going to do in here so if it is left so we are going to flip the sprite so copy the same line and paste it right here now copy this line and paste it right here now if we build and run our game this is going to be work fine so let's build and see what we have so before building we need to initialize these references so we have this so let's drag our sprite renderer so right here we have our component now drag this sprite renderer in here and make sure whenever you initialize or change anything on the prefab make sure to always hit apply so it gets applied on our prefab now let's uh, remove that and we are going to build our so i built the game on two instances so if on that instance i control my player and if i move change the direction you can see that our uh, direction is sinking on both of the instance so i can move and flip my sprite so on the second instance we can do the same so now our sprite is sinking so that's it and that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to implement the jump functionality and i will see you in the next video so if you like the video please hit the like button and let me know in the comments so